Salas Chapter 2-2 Construction, Fire Protection, Fire Detection, and Fire Extinction Part A General The Fire Safety Objectives 1. Prevent the occurrence of fire and explosion 2. Reduce the risk to life caused by fire 3. Reduce the risk of damage caused by fire to the ship, its cargo, and the environment 4. Contain, control, and suppress fire and explosion in the compartment of origin. 5. Provide adequate and readily accessible means of escape for passengers and crew. Functional Requirements 1. A division of ship into main vertical zones by thermal and structural boundaries. 2. Separation of accommodation spaces from the remainder of the ship by thermal and structural boundaries. 3. Restricted use of combustible materials. 4. Detection of any fire in the zone of origin, containment and extinction of any fire in the space of origin. 5. Protection of means of escape or access for firefighting, ready availability of fire extinguishing appliances. 6. Minimization of possible ignition of flammable cargo vapor. Part B. Prevention of fire and explosion. Purpose. This chapter focuses on preventing fire and explosion on ships. It establishes measures to reduce ignition risks, limit fire growth, and control smoke spread. Requirements include using non-combustible materials, fire-resisting divisions, effective fire detection and alarm systems, and smoke control mechanisms. These regulations aim to minimize fire hazards, ensure early detection, and contain fires, thus protecting the lives of crew members and passengers and maintaining the vessel's structural integrity. Compliance with these standards is essential for maintaining maritime safety and preventing catastrophic incidents at sea. Part C. Suppression of Fire Purpose This chapter focuses on the suppression of fire, detection and alarm, control of smoke spread, containment of fire, firefighting, and structural integrity. Requirements It mandates the installation of fire detection and alarm systems, fire-resisting divisions, and smoke control systems to manage fire risks on ships. The chapter also requires portable and fixed firefighting equipment and systems to ensure fires can be effectively controlled and extinguished. Structural integrity under fire conditions must be maintained to protect the vessel and its occupants. These regulations aim to provide a comprehensive framework for managing and suppressing fires to enhance maritime safety and protect lives and property at sea. Part D, Escape. Part D focuses on ensuring the safe evacuation of crew and passengers in the event of a fire or other emergency. Ensures that all crew and passengers are promptly informed of a fire or emergency situation. 1. Notification of crew and passengers. Notifying crew and passengers of a fire for safe evacuation. 2. Means of escape. Providing means of escape so that persons on board can safely and swiftly escape to the lifeboat and life raft embarkation deck. Part E. Operational Requirements 1. Operational Readiness and Maintenance Maintaining and monitoring the effectiveness of the fire safety measures the ship is provided with. 2. Instructions, Onboard Training and Drills Mitigating the consequences of fire by means of proper instructions for training and drills for persons on board responsible for carrying out ship procedures under emergency conditions. 3. Operations providing information and instructions for proper ship and cargo handling operations in relation to fire safety. Part F. Alternative Design and Arrangements The purpose of this chapter is to allow flexibility in ship design by permitting alternative fire safety designs and arrangements, provided they meet the fire safety objectives and functional requirements of the convention. Fire safety designs and arrangements may deviate from the prescriptive requirements of Parts B, C, D, E, or G, as long as they achieve an equivalent level of safety. When deviations occur, an engineering analysis must be conducted to evaluate and approve the alternative designs and arrangements. Part G, Special Requirements. 1. Helicopter Facilities. Additional measures for ships fitted with special facilities for helicopters. 2. Carriage of Dangerous Goods. Safety measures for ships carrying dangerous goods. 3. Protection of vehicle, special category, and RORO spaces. Additional safety measures for ships fitted with vehicle, special category, and RORO spaces. 4. 
casualty threshold, safe return to port, and safe areas. Criteria for a ship's safe return to port under its own propulsion after a casualty. 5. Criteria for systems to remain operational after a fire casualty. Providing design criteria for systems required to remain operational for orderly evacuation and abandonment. 6. Safety Center on Passenger Ships. Providing a space for management of emergency situations. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe CFIX channel.